Still weeks away from Selection Sunday for the Division I men's basketball tournament, the D3 Selection Show airing today, and that included the men at Case Western, the Spartans clinching a spot in the tourney with their conference championship win over the weekend. It's the second year in a row. Case will host the first two rounds beginning Friday night. I mean, this is the last, last time around for me and for a lot of our guys, so... Um, just playing on the big stage is going to be really fun. It's a day you always look forward to, to hear your name called in the NCAA tournament. One of the 64 teams left with a chance to win it all. And the Spartans, not the only Cleveland team dancing in Division Three. Carly Massetti was with the other today. Sitting in a packed room. You already know how hard this season has been just to get here. With a laptop plugged into the TV. Let's get into it right now because I know there's a lot of nervous waits. The John Carroll men's basketball team waiting to hear their name called in the Division Three selection show. There's always a little bit of adrenaline, right? Nerves, uh, even though, you know, this year knowing that, uh, you know, we had an automatic bid. Finally, hearing the long awaited words. John Carroll is our host here, coming off maybe the game of the weekend. Dancing for the second straight year, this go around, the Blue Streaks will host the first and second rounds. We've always wanted to have experience of playing in the March Madness tournament, but playing it on our home court. It's just um, an accumulation of a, a great body of work that we put together throughout the whole regular season. John Carroll is set to face SUNY New Paltz on Friday. At this time of year, they're all good basketball teams. I mean, you can't take anyone lightly. After hosting a packed house for an overtime OAC championship win last weekend, the Blue Streaks feel the momentum is on their side. We want to keep moving forward and keep propelling and keep the energy high as we go into hopefully a long and deep run to this tournament. Reporting in University Heights, Carly Massetti, News 5. All right, so both those teams will host games uh, this coming weekend. How about that? That was great. Great for the whole area, great for those schools. Yeah. Get the kids out there. That'd be, that'd be even better.